Alright everyone, so this time we are going to take a look at color theory and we're going to take a look at uh, shapes, paths, and basically how to manipulate paths, okay? So let's go ahead and start with new again, so just file new and we want this to be printable just in case, so we're going to make this resolution 300 8 inches by 6 inches so that it'll fit in the middle of a piece of paper and we're going to name this color shapes okay, now again, layer New fill layer, solid color, whatever color you want. I'm going to go with dark gray. Actually, we're going to go with a lighter gray this time. A little darker than medium. Like, um, this is my, yeah, so about 45% gray. Okay, I'm going to delete my background layer. That's basically how I'm going to start most of my projects, okay? If I want to paint a little bit, then I'll do a, another, I'll create a new layer and I'll make a layer for painting, okay? So for this one, we're going to be working with paths. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to import some artwork, okay, or import an image. So there's two ways to do it. You can go File, Open, and you can find the image and go and open it up. This is my image here. And then I could basically uh, select all, right, or select, select all, or Control A, Control C for copy or edit copy and then go into my other and then hit control V only problem with that is that it gives me well I, I like that it gives me exactly how big that image is right so this is the best uh, size for that image because it was made for that resolution for that or smaller so if I make it bigger I know it's, there's a good chance it'll get pixelated other way to bring that artwork in I'm just gonna make that layer invisible is to go to file place okay file place, I, change, I find the file and the biggest difference here is when you do place if I go and I edit that file later on it'll automatically update because what this is, this is just a reference to that file whereas the other one I'm actually copying and pasting the pixels this one's copy and pasting the file itself okay so this can be updated if I go and manipulate it outside of the program I can also change the size and I'm pretty sure that that is going to be based on the original image. So for instance, I can make this really small and it's just going to pull the information from that file. But if I copy and paste the pixels and make those really small, then I'm going to lose a lot of information. Okay, I hit enter and this is going to be, I'm going to try to duplicate to the best of my ability this image, Okay, but with using only paths and vector shapes. Okay, so I'm going to call that reference. Okay. And this is going to be reference, but in parentheses, pixels. Because it's only the pixels of that reference material. And it's invisible, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, now I need to make these shapes. Okay, so let me grab my square tool. And uh, please stop doing that. Okay, I'm going to make, first what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to make one side of this, and then I'll duplicate those sides and put them together. Okay? Mm -hmm. So first thing I need to do is make one big square. So I'm going to hold down the shift key so I get a perfect square. And I want the color of this to be, actually I'm going to go with white. Because technically that should be white, right? Even though it's not exactly white. I'm going to drag that above my reference layer. This is going to be my, I'm going to call this base, okay? Now I'm going to make, I'm going to choose a different color because I want this next square not to be white, but I want this next one to be yellow. Okay. And try to get it to be one ninth of the base square. And it looks like it did in fact make it white, so I'm going to change that back to yellow. Ooh, that's not what I want. Oh, okay, I see what it did. See my path there? It's got one square on top of another. I don't want that. What I want is them on separate layers. So I'm going to grab this path tool, I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to edit and cut it, All right, edit, cut, or control X, and then I'm going to go to new, layer, new fill layer, solid color, color fill 2, and then paste, control V. I've got this layer, and it's, it's put the path there, but it's not manipulating this layer according to that path. So what I need to do is go to layer. Sorry, it got co kind of complicated here. Shouldn't have done that, but just go to layer, create vector mask. So vector mask, current path. Okay. 
or I can just delete all that and start again. So I grab my path tool, hold down the shift key, try to make it one ninth, and then just change the color here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put both of these in a layer. I'm sorry, in a folder. Squares. And the reason why I put them in a folder is so I can make all of them invisible real quick, really quickly if I want. So I've got my yellow one, now I want a pink one. Okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab that yellow one and I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, or I'm sorry, grab the Move selection, or the Move tool, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, and I'm gonna click and drag that layer over to the other corner. And as you can see, it's a little too big, right? So I'm gonna grab both of those yellows, Shift select, two yellows, Control T, or edit transform, free transform, hold down the shift key, and let's see if we can get them to be actually one ninth. Hit enter, then select one of those squares, shift select both, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the right one, which one's the right one? This is the right one. I'm just going to try to get it one square away. I'm trying to try to get the same amount of distance here that I have here, right? So that seems about right. Now I'll shift select both of them, hit control T again, and just expand it out. Hit enter. And if I really wanted to double check, I could duplicate this yet again and put it in between, okay? So hold down the alt key and the shift key, click and drag that over, change the color so that I can see it. We'll make this one, this color down here, blue. Okay. Hold down the, go to the Move tool. And if you get tired of going to the Move tool, you can just press the letter V on your keyboard. Okay. Now it's on top. If I bring this down, oh, it's almost perfect. Okay, excellent. So I can just bring that down to the bottom left now. And then Shift select it to duplicate it. And we'll make this one... Um, ice blue. Okay. And then what we'll do is so that we get more contrast, we'll make this other one a little bit more of a cobalt blue. And of course, we don't want two yellows. What we want is a pink and a red in the middle. This will be pink. A little bit lighter. And control shift. red. Okay. Now, what do I want? I need to, I've got this one made. Oh, you know, it's pretty much the same as the other two. But what I want to do is I want to keep this very organized, okay? So I want to make this into its own folder called side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that entire side, make that a little smaller. So I hit Control T, hold down the Shift key, hit Enter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that folder into the new layer button. And what that does is it do, or I could hold down the Alt key and click and drag it, and it makes a copy of slide. So I'm going to make this uh, side two. Okay. Hold down the shift key if I click and drag that over. And I want this pink to match that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tra Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. See that? So make sure you select the folder and then flip, and then flip it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that pink goes all the way to the edge. Okay. So just grab your pink. And you can actually use the arrow keys to move one pixel at a time. Okay, it looks like I need, I'm on the, let me do the top one first. Over to the left, and then my ice blue. And my ice blue. Okay, so now, now that that's pretty nice, let's do these drop downs. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift select, or I'm gonna select the entire squares 
and I'm going to get it close to where that other one is. And I'm going to change, to see this opacity here, I'm going to change, turn that opacity down. I want to be able to see it, but I also want to be able to see a little bit the one behind it. Okay, So I made that 84%. Now what I'm going to do is I want to select side one, hit control T, oh, wrong side, I want hit enter key, go to the other side, side one, control T, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key, or I'm sorry, hold down the control key. And then I can manipulate, I can skew this square. See that? Now I'm going to undo it because I want to make sure I get this perfect. So I'm going to grab all of this and just make sure that that line is in the middle. So I want that corner to match. Okay. All right, good. I want to go back a second. The problem is I need to do this perfect the first time, okay? Now what I'm also going to do is I want to grab all of my squares, hit control T, and I want this bottom quarter to match up. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to hold down the alt key. What the alt key does is you see that vortex in the middle? It makes it rotate it makes it scale around that vortex, around that center. Okay? Control Z. That I can put that anywhere I want. So I'm going to put that here so that that corner will not move. Okay, and I'm going to use Shift to keep my proportions and Alt to make sure that I manipulate around that corner. And now all I got to do is try to make it to scale. Okay, so hit Enter. Now I'm going to grab just side one, which I'll put on top. Oops. And I'm going to hit Control T. I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to actually I'm going to hold down the shift button also so that it only goes up and down. And I'm going to drag that corner to match that corner. See that? And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to hold down because there's some perspective shift on this thing. Do you see how that corner comes out further down at the bottom? So it's not a perfect parallelogram. It's got a little bit of perspective skew on it. So I'm going to add that skew. I'm going to hold down the control button and the shift button. And I'm going to grab that corner and bring it down a little. Hit enter, and I've got a perfect skew on that side. Now I'm going to grab side two and do the same thing. Control T. I'm going to hold the control button, grab this, bring that corner, the top corner to match, and then I'm also going to control grab and then shift grab. So control and shift key should be held down, and I'm going to drag this down to match that corner. I'm going to hit control H just to make sure I can zoom in too, right? Okay. And now if you guys ever need to zoom, you can hold the control button and the space bar button and then when you click, it'll zoom in and if you hold down the control button, the alt button and the space button, you can zoom out. And you'll have to experiment a little bit. I think on a Macintosh it's a little slightly different, but pretty similar keys. They're all in this similar area, okay? Now what I want to do is try to get that top one, okay? So I'm going to duplicate my second side, hold down the Alt key, make sure that it's inside the squares folder. I'm going to name this top side. I'm going to use the V, press the V button on the keyboard, bring that up here, get this bottom corner to match, hit Control T, and as you can see, it's not as easy this time because the corners do not match the corners, right? But I'll do my best. Actually, I need to rotate this. So if I hold down the shift key, I get perfect rotation. And it looks like I need to, I'm just going to do it like this, okay? Get that corner to match. Drag my vortex down there. Now I'm going to grab the hold down the alt key and I'm going to manipulate this so that one corner matches and then I'm going to hold the control button and try to get this other corner to match boom and then control grab the other corner and just move it until you get something you like alright uh, looks like my corners on the pink do not match let me push this over to the right and see if I can get that to match. OK, 
Okay, so now that these lines are lined up, I'm going to readjust these so that the other corners match again. I'll drag that a little further out. And this one comes down a little bit. And again, push it over to the right. So I'm pressing the right key button. It looks like the ice blue is coming too far out on the right, so I need to drag that up a little. And again, my pink is too far out to the left here, so press the right key. And I think that's good. So I'm going to hit the enter key. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. So far, so good. Now all I need to do is the rest of it, but that's good for now, okay? So for this lesson, just go ahead and create those shapes and then try to manipulate, okay? So that'll teach you how to transform your stuff, how to grab and put stuff in folders, how to manipulate, and how to skew, okay? So that's it for this assignment, and uh, please duplicate. Thank you, and goodbye.